So let's look at mission statement first of all. What is a mission statement? And uh, then I'm going to start. I'm going to show you some mission statements from organizations, and then we're going to talk about mission statements for people. Okay. So a mission statement is a reason for existence. This is why I'm here. Then my personal mission statement, my my organizational mission statement. It's making a statement. This is why we do what we do. So it's a reason for being. It needs to be clear, concise, and compelling. Now, clear means you need to have really clear direction. That they, what you express in your mission statement, it needs to be clear for you at least where you're going with this. And it needs to be concise because it needs to be something that you retain kind of at the forefront of your thinking. This is what drives and motivates all of the things that I do. This is my reason for existence. And then compelling because it, it is something that you're going to rely on to take you through tough times when you think you know what you're supposed to be doing, but you have a lot of obstacles that you need to overcome. And it seems like the things that you feel like you want to or need to do, it seems just impossible to do that. So when you have something that compels you, something that moves you, something that you, when you look at your mission statement, you go, see, this is the reason that I'm here. And that is, that's a very powerful statement for me. That's what a personal mission statement is. It's not a detailed description. We're not talking about what we're going to do, how, how you're going to set your goals. Uh, in a personal mission statement, that's like an overarching statement of this is my reason for existence. OK, uh, it's a state rather it, rather than being a detailed description, it's a statement of an outcome and it's visionary. It is something that is bigger than where you are right now. It's something that that uh, that compels and pushes you towards more. Uh, you, you want to do more. You want to be more. You want to engage more. You want to experience more. That's what a mission statement does. <clears throat> so mission statements, if we talk about organizational or corporate or company mission statements, they focus the at attention and the energy of organizations on those values considered most important. So you have an organization that has a mission statement, they have distilled what they want to do and what they want to accomplish and maybe how they're planning on doing that into a very concise statement, something that they can even put up as a slogan that everybody that comes to work there or everybody that comes to uh, uh, gain whatever that organization is offering or that that company, uh, they understand what the mission is. OK, so let's look at a few mission statements. This is McDonald's mission statement. You know, the the the, the ubiquitous chain, uh, fast food chain uh, in most countries of the world. And this is McDonald's vision. They're, this is their vision mission statement. McDonald's vision is to be the world's best quick service restaurant experience. Being the best means providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness, and value so that we make every customer in every restaurant smile. Now, this is a very ambitious mission statement, and I wish I could hear your chuckles right now because I don't know how many of you have ever considered McDonald's being a, with the world's best quick service restaurant experience like that word tells me that it that it if this, this they're trying to create an experience i don't know if you you go to mcdonald's for an, an experience i can't really see someone thinking that uh, they want to they want to propose to the person they want to marry and that the place i'm going to take you to do that is mcdonald's because that's a restaurant experience i don't really see it like that i also don't really see you know, if I observe people coming out of McDonald's, I don't really see everybody smiling. Uh, some people, they have bad indigestion. Uh, some people are feeling like, you know, I just jumped in here to get something to eat because I need some energy. But if I had any choices, I wouldn't be eating here. Uh, so it, it's not, I don't think it, it's really a, an objective that they are achieving. But I'll tell you what it does here. If, if this really is McDonald's mission statement, then when you go into McDonald's and you need to use the washroom and you find that it's filthy, you should be able to go to the counter and talk to a person, a manager, or the, the, the owner of that franchise restaurant and tell them, listen, your, your, uh, your washroom is so dirty, I can't even go there. Can you please get somebody in there to clean it up? And if they really are trying to do their mission statement, they would say, absolutely, we'll do it right now. Because they said, being the best means providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness, and value. So if you're if they're holding to their mission statement, that should be something we should expect from a McDonald's. 
and we should expect that it's going to be a restaurant experience. So next time you go to McDonald's, maybe just think about that. I'm walking into a restaurant experience and see what that feels like for you. Let's look at another one. This is IKEA, affordable solutions for better living. While that's a very concise statement, and I think it really accurately describes what IKEA does. They provide affordable solutions for better living. Some of, some of you might argue for better living, I don't know. Personally, I think that, you know, I in, in my private practice as a psychologist, I work with a lot of couples. And I think that IKEA should actually have at the at the exit of the of, of their store, they should have a, an information rack with uh, maybe some brochures on it of uh, five quick ways to a divorce. Because from my experience, when people try to put IKEA furniture or whatever they bought together and they're working as a couple, it's a recipe for uh, arguing, fighting, and and uh, and tension. But uh, I, I do believe that uh, they are really trying to do what their mission statement says. They are really trying to pro provide affordable solutions for better living. This is Nike, and most people around the world know who Nike is, and their, their slogan is just do it. But their mission statement is to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And then just so that you don't think that because you maybe think you're not an athlete, that you don't qualify for their products, they asterisk that word athlete and they said, if you have a body, you are an athlete. So in other words, Nike's for everybody. And, but what it's gonna do, what the Nike products is gonna do is it's gonna make you more of an athlete. Well, I don't know if, if that's been your experience, but that's a pretty powerful mission statement and, uh, and something that, you know, with their slogan, just do it, they really want to get people moving and experiencing maybe something that they hadn't experienced before. And if they are a qualified athlete, they want to provide equipment that really meets the need and, and gives them the best experience as an athlete. Uh, the next one is the Ford Motor Company. They say we are a global family with a proud heritage, passionately committed to providing personal mobility for people around the world. Uh, you know, I've been in many countries in Africa and everywhere you see Ford and Mercedes. Uh, I don't know what your experience in, in the countries that you're coming from is, but Ford is, uh, there's a lot of Fords out there and people rely on their Fords when they need to do tough jobs. So I think Ford is actually, they do this pretty well. I think they do provide personal mobility for people around the world. Uh, this is TED, which is, uh, you know, you've heard TED Talks, uh, and that stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design. And th this is very simple, very concise and extremely powerful. Spread ideas. Now think about that, the two words, but it really describes what they do. They open their platform for people from all different kinds of backgrounds to talk about all different kinds of things. And in order to make sure that they get uh, the, the, that the, the person has the opportunity to present and that at a TED conference, as many people as possible can present, they limit presentations to 20 minutes or less. So they, they tell you, if you wanna present something here, you've gotta be concise, you've gotta get right to the point, you've gotta say what you need to say, and this is the way we're gonna spread ideas. Very powerful, and I think very doable for them. They've really followed that as an example. 